Loosen up your buttons, babes. It's Michelle Visage. Time for another What You Packing. We are here with Michigan's own Orion Story. Hello. Hello. Who's this? Well, she doesn't have a name yet, mm -hmm. um, but I'm thinking Ashley Furniture. Oh, perfect. And she's your emotional support finger puppet. Yes, yes. And she is also a representation of the chaos that goes on in my brain. And I relate. Yes, absolutely. I fully relate. <laughs> Are you one of those people that has an active and overactive brain? Yes, I have ADHD. <laughs> you know, I have two kids that struggle with ADHD and medication does help. Yes. But also kind of, I guess, just realizing that that's the way your brain is going to work. I've learned how to uh, use it, like cultivate it for my own personal gain. Mm -hmm. How did you walk into drag in Grand Rapids, Michigan? It's kind of funny. Um, actually, my mom and I used to watch Drag Race all the time, and she would always say, like, I could see you on this show. I could, like, you're so creative. And, like, I would make my own costumes and, like, clothes and stuff. And she was like, this is, like, right up your alley. I would love to see you on there. Like, you'd be great. Oh, and Yeah. And then, um, actually, a few months after that, she committed suicide. And... That's not wonderful. No. <laughs> and I was kind of like, um, you know, maybe I'll try it. And I ended up loving it and finding out that I'm really good at it. And it was kind of a way for me to feel close to my mom again. You know what I mean? Oh, Ryan, this story is so sad. I know. Sweetheart, that <laughs> must have been so much for you. Yeah, I've been through a lot in my life, but you know what? There's so many amazing things to be so excited about. I feel like she lives through you now. Yeah. I feel like this drag, Orion's story, did she help with the name? Yeah, actually, um, story is my mom's maiden name. And I knew I wanted to like turn that into like my last name for drag. And I just kind of thought like Orion, it fit. You know what I mean? Like, How did I, you come up with Orion? I smoked a lot. <laughs> I, this is a story that I hear a lot. Yes. I just kind of wanted something that sounded ethereal, went with story, you know, and then I, I thought of Orion, I looked it up, and it didn't seem like there was like a whole lot of people with that, so I I took it for myself. Did your mom teach you how to sew? No. How did you learn how to sew? On my own. Every, everything that I, I do is on my own. I make all my own hair. I don't make all my own costumes, but I do make a lot of them. I solder a lot of my jewelry. Like, everything that I've learned has been just through trial and error. And, you know, we didn't have a whole lot of money growing up, so I had to really kind of be creative. And I would like buy bed sheets and stuff from Goodwill and like turn those into clothes. And That's Maria costumes. Von Trapp. Yeah. Um, you doing this on your own is not easy. Did you have friends that you would rely on for support? People yeah, that you could turn I, to? Um, like when I got the call, like I had nothing, I had nobody. And then through the process of like getting ready, started like a drag family and we all just like <laughs> had a sweatshop going, just like <laughs> stoning and sewing and working on stuff to the last minute. And there was a lot of stuff that I forgot to pack, a lot of wigs that I forgot to pack, including my zebra mm. resort <laughs> look mm -hmm. wig that I made the morning of. And I had something else for that. It was, it was chaos. <laughs> you know, getting ready for Drag Race is not easy. So you go in there, you're realizing, uh-oh, I may have forgotten some things. But what was the experience like for you? It was so amazing. Was and it? I, I think the best part is that I got a lot of things that I wasn't expecting to get out of it. What'd you get? I really learned a lot about myself. You know, coming into the season, I never ever wanted to put myself in a box and say like, this is my drag, this is the kind of performer I am. You know, I want to be able to just always be open to new possibilities and me coming on just kind of realize more of who I am. What did you learn about you? I learned that I can pin my wigs in better. <laughs> okay, Some all right, them. good start. Yes. Um, you could pin your wigs in better. Yes. What about you? I started to find myself again, you know. I had a conversation with Deja when we were getting ready, um, and she was the first person I ever kind of opened up about it a little bit, and I just felt like I was really numb, and I was having problems just feeling like any emotions, mm. and you know, Drag Race is the first time I cried in like five years. Did it feel good? It felt so good. I'm not super, super close with all my family, so like coming here and like getting really close with everybody, like it just really made me have the sense of family that I needed, you know? Well, you're gonna have these sisters for life now. Mm -hmm. and yeah, I, they're stuck I, with me. Any of those kids you can call on at any given time, and I know that 
they'll be there for you, you know? Absolutely. And my favorite thing is to watch you grow and see, like, I can't wait to talk to you in a couple of years and see. I know, and that's what I'm always excited about too. I'm just like, I'm always thinking about the next step, you know? It's like, I have dreams so much bigger than just Drag Race. What is it? What are your dreams? Like, I want to do it all, you uh -huh. know? I want to, you know, get back into making music. I want to you know, maybe write a book or something. Why not? You know, maybe a podcast. Just, I want to try everything. So, you left in episode one. Yes. Wah, wah, wah. You know what? I still made everyone laugh. You did? Which is all that I wanted to do, at least. Isn't know? laughter the best? Yes. You came back, episode three. You showed the world who Orion's story was, and the rest will be her story. Mm -hmm. Correct? Yes, with my beautiful bridal look. <laughs> Thank you, Orion. Saying that that was too much when some oh. of these girls came out with the whole workroom. Yes, listen, everybody's got a different Orion story to tell. If you could do one thing all over again, what would it be? Probably the talent show. I actually had something else planned. Mm -hmm. I recorded an original song and I was gonna do a puppet show with it, but. <laughs> I love it, Orion. I just, you know, I wasn't as happy with the way the song was sounding and like puppets take forever to make. And yes. I was putting so much pressure on myself, like making a lot of my stuff that I just didn't have time. Are puppets a big part of your life? Well, I grew up watching, you know, Jim Henson. I'm a huge Jim Henson fan. My my license plate says Kermit. I love that. Mm -hmm. So I just, you know, I've always been really attracted to like the weird things and mm -hmm. like, you know, puppets and the labyrinth and like the dark crystal. Those are all of my favorite movies. All and, Jim like, Henson? Yes. Yep. And it's like, I just tell anyone, like if you want to understand me as a person, watch those movies. That tells me a lot about you, Orion. You know, mm -hmm. the fact that you connect with that, you know, style of art, you never know. You could be the next Jim Henson. Let's talk about your fashions. First of all, this purple one is intense. It's amazing. It's everything that I love about drag because it's so wrong. Who made it? Billy, he's from Grand Rapids. Yes, local designers. Yeah, absolutely. He actually made the first custom thing for me ever. Um, this wasn't made for me custom. I actually had got this from somebody else, mm -hmm. but I was gonna do this brown updo, do like a breakfast at Tiffany's kind of like. It is vintage. very that. Yeah. I just love it because it's like. And the color. A demented pantsuit yes. from years ago. With the low frills on the side. Yeah, I kind of love it. You know, it's everything that I love about drag right there. It's like, you, if you saw that on a woman today, you'd think she, there's something going on in her mind, but on a drag queen, it just makes sense. And you want to know what the funny thing about that is? What? Is that was the backup for my spring look. I love it. I love it. And so I'm like, much. I honestly probably should have worn that because that wouldn't have fallen apart in the lips. Well, listen, sometimes they work. Sometimes but they I was like, you know what? The bunny's going to be more iconic. Right. And, you know, I was like, there's a lot of critiques that I was expecting, and there was some that I didn't agree with, but. Mm. You never agree with them, and not you yourself. When you're up there, you won't agree. Not with all of them, some you'll agree. I already do some of them. I'm like, I got back and I was like, you know what? This is a lot. Yeah. But you know what? I'm extra as hell, so. Yeah. This is beautiful. This was my finale look. Yes. It's course. a lot, but. Yeah, but a anyway. lot in the right way. Yeah. This is, you know, you can see the base of it is a bodysuit, but I always tell, you know, you kids that if you're going to do a bodysuit, make us forget that it's a bodysuit. And there you go. And then the shoes represent my cats. How many cats do you have? I have two. Mm -hmm. And this rainbow confection. This was made by Pirietta in uh, New York. And this is my little like, club kid look. It's a baby doll dress, so it cuts like above the knee and then just like all leg. I wanted to show off like how tall I am. And everybody should have a baby doll dress in their closet. Every shape, yes, every I have size. One in every color. 100%, it flatters everybody. Yes, we get to a certain age where people say, mm -mm, I disagree. I think everybody should own a baby doll dress. It's just so flattering. Mm -hmm. And you put it on and something And then you happens. get a spin around. And yes! Drama. Something happens <laughs> when you put on a baby doll dress. You're just like, ah, that's the best thing ever. Orion Story, you are wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for being on RuPaul's Drag Race. Thank you for letting me grace you with my presence. And you're Ashley. Yes. Thank you. Hi, Ashley. Hi. And thank you for joining me for another episode of What You Pack, and we'll see you next time. Hey, it's Michelle Visage. Do you want gay shit? Check out RuPaul's Drag Race YouTube channel and hit subscribe.